Of all the great players who've come through the K-State program, perhaps no one has been a more focused and vocal leader than senior linebacker Josh Buell. Buell's passion for the game is unmatched, and his greatness is in his ability to motivate those around him to become better players. It's a gift, Josh says, that comes naturally. Yeah, I definitely most think that's definitely been something that's been uh, um, natural to me since a little, little kid on up to probably when I, it's going to be forever, really. Because uh, if I have something to say, I'm going to say it in the right way, but I'm going to make sure I get my point across and then go from there. And hopefully the things that I say motivate my teammates and uh, want, encourage my teammates to do better, to practice hard, because I want to be an example setter and also be somebody that they can follow and say that he's doing it, I can do it. And uh, I just want to make sure we can win as much as we can win. With several key players gone from last year's defense, Buell understands that his role as a leader will be even more important this year. I think my role has definitely changed for me in the aspect where it's I all out, say whatever, do whatever, because it's the last time. So whatever you can do to try to help this team win and be successful, I'm going to try to do that. So if that means stepping up my leadership ability, if that means saying more, if that means picking up slack, then maybe other guys had last year to help me out with, whatever the case may be. I just want to make sure we can win as many football games as possible. A native of Mesquite, Texas, Buell will be playing his final season of football alongside his friend and former high school teammate Brian Hickman. It's a friendship that Buell has cherished. It's that's definitely been something that very few, few people can say they've done. Played eight years of football, football eight, yeah, eight years, nine years of football with somebody and uh, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's great to have somebody that you can come into college with, that you played in high school with, just for being the friendship and then knowing each other on the field and knowing each other's strengths and weaknesses. And it's been a blast. It's been a really fun time for both of us. This year, those two will undoubtedly miss fellow Texan Terry Pierce in their linebacker core. And at this point, Josh says it's still too early to compare last year's defense to this one. It's, you can't compare, compare them the two yet just because, you know, we haven't had that full out fire. Everything's going at once, which will be this Saturday. So we haven't had that yet. So it's, it's going to be hard to tell. But it's definitely going to be a different style of defense and a different type of players on the defensive field. I don't think that, <clears throat> you know, we, have, we don't have a Terry Pierce, you know, going crazy and wild like we did last year. But I think that it's going to be different where it's going to be more of a unified way. It's going to be more of a, each player understanding that I don't want to let this my other player next to me down. And I think that's what more is going to be about guys working harder to make sure they don't let us down. And I think that's going to be the difference. I don't think there's going to be as crazy <coughs> of a lynch mob as it used to be, but I think it's going to be a more fearful lynch mob than it used to be. With Buell as one of the leaders, there's no question about that.